Alrighty, in this video, I'll be going over commenting and storing formulas in Notion Formulas 2.0. These are both very recent additions to Notion, and I feel like these are worth its own video than this three minute formulas format. Instead of creating and demonstrating formulas today, this video will be more focused on the management and organization of formulas, the ability to share the logic and the rationale or the process of your formulations within Notion so that for someone that might not be entirely familiar with Notion formulas can look at it and sort of begin to understand what you're doing with some comments and the ability to reuse formulas so that you don't have to always create them from scratch. I think both of those are going to be more and more of a common request. The more that you start experimenting with formulas, I think because Notion formulas is so expansive, it can be really hard to memorize or remember the exact syntax in which you're creating stuff. And so it can be immensely helpful to just have a log or a place that you can access where you can just copy and paste formulas. Before I get started, again, because we're not creating any formulas today, we're just going to be moving them and commenting on it. I'm going to start with the commenting of formulas. Previously in Notion Formulas 1.0, everything in the formula property had to be related within a formula context and otherwise get an error. And previously, you would not be able to save your formulas even if it wasn't properly working. Among these big new changes of being able to neatly create line breaks and format your formulas in a more intuitive way by adding line breaks, you're also able to add that commenting. And it's a very simple way to do that. You're going to start with your slash and then you're going to have an asterisk and then you're going to add some text. And then what you can also do is an asterisk and a slash. And so what that does is that gray text appears. Notice how that text is black and this text is gray. And so basically you can add anything here now and will be gray. These work as commenting brackets. And so just remember that you're just using the slash and then changing the order of the asterisks so that you're opening and closing your comments. Using map function to call statuses. Now when I click on done, formula still works and my comments still exist. So that's pretty helpful and I think the more you dig into formulas and the more that you use new features like the lets, the filter, the map, contains, everything you can imagine, it'll be more and more important to add these comments so that people have a way to understand what you're doing. So I think the next thing we're going to look at is the storing of formulas or the ability to translate formulas from previous examples into a new one. I'm just going to create a new formula as an example. I'm going to take a formula from one of my previous YouTube video examples and see if I can use that as a way to get started. Right off the bat, nothing's working. And so now we just need to go back and adjust an account for those relations. So instead of tasks, it's input. Still going to be that same checkbox, but we got to recall it. That status is the same thing. And now we, those errors have been removed. We're looking for checkbox that's not empty with the current status not started and it's going to give us the length of that and click on done now notice how it's gone to one now because of that checkbox two and three that was really helpful and the way we were able to copy and paste from this text was using the code snippet which we did slash and code click on code and then it spits out this tan colored callout box which has JavaScript. And JavaScript is basically the language that Notion Formula 2.0 based on. By default, you can copy and paste your formula output like that. And then even if you copy and paste the whole thing, you get comments that keep the same format. That can be really helpful. Again, it was the code snippet. We can use Notion Formula, also a toggle item that you can search. In that sense, it'll look like that. So it'll have a little more of a color coded way of mapping out your formulas. You can keep the JavaScript default toggle on and copy and paste your formula so it'll output like this. And then you can also click and toggle and specify Notion and click on Notion formulas where you'll have a slightly different way of highlighting and color coding your Notion formula code. Hopefully that all made sense and hopefully 
you can start to think about how you can add comments so that not only can you help others understand your formulas, but help yourself understand them as well. You can write your personal notes or checkpoints so that next time you work on it, you can sort of recall what you were doing or what you were working on or what you're trying to figure out that wasn't working with the formula. Probably not a three minute formulas yet again, but thanks for watching and keep on notioning. Thanks.